but it took a trip to Jamaica and by chance came to the Bob Marley. Um, as I'm come to the tour and I walk through, and I had all these, I mean at this point I think I had 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And going through the room, I'm like, you know what? This is where it's been. And it just like came to me. I reached out to at the time um, there was somebody else in charge of the and I spoke to her and she loved the idea. So here we are. So that is how this all came about for inspiration. The paintings are used as a way to raise money um, for the Bob Marley Foundation. The paintings are donated to the Bob Marley Foundation. And, and the paintings are a permanent collection of the museum, meaning that they will always be a part of the museum. And so the prints from these limited edition pieces, the money that's raised from the sale of those prints, and they're all limited edition. Only 10 of these can be sold. Go towards the Bob Marley Foundation's partnership with UNICEF and other child programs that they have to raise money and contribute to it. So, this is what I work And, um, you know, I did not make my mom pushing me. <laughs> and um, as an encouragement, um, you know, just, I always say that, you know, Sometimes life is happening for you. Um, that Ebola moment for me was almost devastating. I've been there for almost six years working, building a business, but I wouldn't have discovered I could paint had that Ebola outbreak not happened. And so sometimes life seems like it's taking you in one direction, but then that when the disappointment happens, you realize the disappointment is not disappointment, it's a redirection to put you in a path. And these paintings were all done at different times. Um, you can kind of see the maturity over time in my paintings. Um, and so um, this is like one of the earlier pieces. I think this is one of the second favorite pieces. The top one, because the intensity in his eyes is you feel like more like a soul. Um, this piece on the wall over there, that yellow piece, was a piece I struggled with. I think I was kind of breaking up and figuring out how it was coming together. And over time, you know, I developed and then I started doing large canvases, which you see over here. And these are some of the different styles. So some of these paintings were done with um, paintbrush. And then um, I started recently transitioning to palette knife. And you can kind of see how this piece here is a bit different from all the others. But it's a maturity of my work over time that you're also able to see here and that course continues to change as time goes on.